Hey guys, got a bunch of old microwaves here. Uh, let's see if we can get some transformers out of these to expand the mop bank. Um, these are old, but not I wouldn't really call them classic, so I don't really feel that bad about taking them apart. Anyway, let's get going. This one's a Toshiba 650 watt output uh, from 1981. Let's see. There we go. Ooh, pretty big mod, mod in this one. What else do we have? Triac for control, relay, separate control transformer. They don't use an auxiliary winding on the mod, and a nice uh, radial fan. Whenever you open these up, make sure to uh, discharge the capacitor before touching anything. Uh, I've only ever seen one microwave with a uh, capacitor that was not discharged, and that was a really, really old microwave that had uh, a capacitor with an external bleeder resistor, and that resistor had failed. But it's always better to be safe than sorry, so do discharge the capacitor. I'm curious, uh, with this uh, SCR or TRIAC here, whether this microwave has continuously variable power. I think I'm going to hook this up and give it a test. Try at power level five. See if it pulses. Oh yeah, it just turned off, so it doesn't seem to have continuously very good power, it seems to just pulse with modulates at low frequency like all others. Don't you just hate it when they put a nut in a position like this? Now I'm going to have to go get a nut driver. There we go. seem to fit the nut. Okay, got the right size now. And there we go. Okay, on to the next one. And this one is not just a microwave. This is a combination microwave convection oven. This might be worth keeping. Um, let's see if it works. Powers up. Pretty nice interior, all stainless steel. There's the heating element for the convection oven. Convection fan, which doesn't feel... Looks like it's sort of stuck. We'll have to see if that actually runs. Let's see if we can get this thing to run now. Well, the convection is doing something. I think it's the convection anyway. Just put a load in there just in case the microwave is running. They smell something. Let's try again. <clears throat> oh, yep, the fan is running. Not very fast, though. It's only running at maybe two or three hundred RPM. Smoking, yes. <laughs> I think the uh, element is overheating. Let's see if we can fix that fan. This microwave convection oven is from 1984 and is 1.5 kilowatts total power. Let's see if we can get it open. Oh, 
Wow, it's a heavy cover. Uh, there we go. Can't really see much in here. It looks just like a normal microwave. Uh, two tracks in this one. Relatively small transformer. Huge, huge fuse there. It looks like it's discolored. Let's see if we can fix. Oh, here. Here's the. Uh, that fan is driven by a belt. I was wondering if something's wrong with this. Or maybe the uh, fan just normally goes slowly. Maybe that smoke was normal or just uh, all this food residue just burning off. Might give it a slightly longer run this time. Okay, let's let this thing run and burn off all the uh, crap on the heating element. The build quality of this thing is really, really good. It's very, very cleanly laid out. Um, two separate fans, one for the magnetron only it looks like, and one for the uh, Having cavity only. Let's see if we're getting any smoke in there. Not much yet. Let's see if I can lubricate the bearing at all for this thing. And not much on this side. But oh, there comes the smoke. See how warm it is in there. Well, it's definitely heating. Here's the oven schematic if anyone's interested. You can just pause the video and have a look at that. While this one's cleaning in itself, let's start on the next oven. This one is see, Panasonic, not really too spectacular. Let's see what this one's got. Uh, this one's been used a lot more than all the other ones based on how uh, dusty it is. Ooh, much smaller mott in this one than all the other ones. And this one's got. Ooh, the fan motor belt drives a little gearbox which turns the uh, uh, turntable. So no separate motor. Yeah, not really much spectacular in this one. It might be worth uh, taking the mod out anyway. This one also has a vacuum relay for uh, power control. There's a little reed relay inside a glass tube uh, in the center of that coil. So they can uh, switching the high voltage side and this instead of low voltage. So I think they run the transformer all the time, or do they? Because there's a send an extra secondary connection, but there's also another control transformer here. So it makes me wondering what they're doing. And here is the last oven. Uh, this one might look a bit familiar because it's the same uh, manufacturer Toshiba as the first oven. Looks like it has the same. Uh, Pretty decent sized transformer, uh, same diode, same capacitor, same relay. It's actually quite modular. This whole uh, back uh, part comes off. The uh, assembly there with the transformer and relay and fuse comes off. There's the triac, which they have just bolted straight down to the metal or the steel this time instead of the uh, aluminum uh, on this one. Anyway, let's pull this apart now. Transformer seems pretty good, about the same size as uh, that one down there. Um, so let's have to decide what to do with this uh, micro convection oven now. It must have running for over half an hour and it's still smoking, so I think it's going to need quite a uh, thorough cleaning inside. 
to keep it for a little while longer and see if anyone uh, wants it. If not, I'll have to end up taking it apart. Anyway, thanks for watching.